Hi, I'm Marie Pigden, and in this video I'm going to show you a garment made by one of my sewing students, Emily, made in my sewing school here at Mount Denise. So what I'm going to do is talk about the pattern chosen, the fabrics that are suitable to make this particular gown, and the sewing details. The pattern that Emily chose is Simplicity 4070 View E. So there are several styles in this pattern and so a variety of fabrics used also to make these different designs. So I'll just tell you the fabrics that are suitable. Um, silks and silk types, chemise, crepe back satin, jacquards, brocade, satin, shantung, taffeta, tissue lame. For the overdress, lace, organza, chiffon, georgette and novelty sheer fabrics. So as you can see, again, a wide variety of fabrics are suitable to make this particular gown. So what Emily had chosen here is a lovely plum aubergine fabric with a self-design, which is a silk organza. So the, the fabric itself, uh, once again, speaks for the beauty of the fall of the fabric. The seams have all been finished off with a French seam because it is a sheer fine fabric. The, uh, the bodice has been interlined with an extra layer as well as the boning through the bodice section. The sweetheart neckline has been stabilised with stay tape. The hemline has been stitched with a double fold. And uh, what Emily added to this gown is this beautiful shoulder section here, which is a, a fine crepe chiffon in the softer shade of mauve um, into the plum and we've stitched that into the left side of the sweetheart of the bodice shape and I'll just turn the model around slowly for you so that you can see that the drape has actually been caught just under the arm there with a beautiful marcasette uh, brooch which can be removed so the chiffon section can be worn as a halter neck crossover um, in a various uh, different ways so that just adds a lovely little soft finish to a beautiful gown. An invisible zip has been inserted into the back with a hook and eye to finish off. And there is the complete gown that Emily had made. Um, once again, um, fits her beautifully and she looks just gorgeous in it. So if you've got this pattern or if you've been inspired to make a gown like this, well, I would just love to hear from you. So if you would like to make a comment below, I would love to hear from you. So this is Marie and bye for now.